Uh, we have a great relationship with iCare and um, you know, it really helps us to driving a larger group safety improvement. One of the biggest successes, but also one of the big learnings we had over it was just that engagement right across the team. I think it was really important in the first part of implementing the process that we really made sure that all teams knew exactly why we're doing it, what the benefits were, what the opportunities are, if we got it right. Also a momentum piece around just reward and recognition throughout the trial to make it successful. In the workplace, everybody shares the responsibility for safety. Uh, the workers uh, on the ground and the managers and leaders. My role is carrying a lot of heavy timber and so when iCare came and gave us advice we learnt yeah, the correct ways to lift things and it was so much better. Rather than just someone telling us, we were actually learning for ourselves. We knew that manual handling is a high risk in our business. We have lots of different odd shaped uh, items at all different weights, all different sizes. Giving them a technology that could allow them to make the decision was really important. Being a large timber business, we really use a lot of pigeonhole racks to push timber in and out and we found that it's been a very high risk. And one of the benefits we got out of the program was that we now, as our, part of our store design, we really needed to design stores that had more cantilever racks that could utilise more machinery such as forklifts and pallet jacks. And where we can, we reduce down the size of the pigeonholes throughout the business. Before the trial, I was going to the chiropractor twice a week and after the trial, I'm now going once a month. The chiropractors are happy, but it's saving me a lot of money. Yeah, I think Wearable Tech has really allowed us to have a really open conversation across all our teams. The technology is going to get uh, more efficient and more cost effective as we move forward and less intrusive. And I think the data that's going to come out of that will really help people go home safe.